I did uh, Macy's Inc. Mm -hmm. So a little bit about Macy's. Um, they're a department store that specializes in women's and men's and uh, children's apparel, accessories, cosmetics, furniture, and a lot more. And they also operate Bloomingdale's and Blue Mercury. And they offer a variety of brands, and they were founded in New York in 1858, making them now 157 years old, one of the oldest uh, department stores. Uh, they have 885 stores nationwide and in the District of Columbia, Guam, and Puerto Rico. Their stock uh, price ticker is currently $67, and their market cap is $22.9 billion. Uh, they're a business-to-consumer uh, company. The revenue source is uh, mainly by selling their products and processing and distributing products. Uh, their revenue growth is uh, consistently growing, as well as their gross profit and operating income, as well as uh, gross margins, net income, and free cash flow. And also, uh, their long-term debt is uh, consistent. They've grown, like, a small amount, but okay. still. So for uh, the key metrics, their year-over-year -year, uh, revenue growth percentage is 1.6%. Um, their same store sales growth uh, per year is uh, 7%. And they have new store additions, which are three new stores, which is OK for like um, a department store, because they're so big. So their top competitors are Nordstrom, Kohl's, and J.C. Penney's. Um, like Nordstrom is probably just a little more expensive than Macy's. They offer more uh, luxury brands, but still, um, people are okay with the brands at Macy's. Like they're in between like Kohl's and Nordstrom, making them like just right. Kohl's, uh, they do offer a lot of brands as well, but not as much as Macy's. And uh, Macy's offers more luxury brands than Kohl's. And uh, JCPenney's, they don't have many great brands as much as Macy's. So uh, for their bear case, like a lot of middle Americans, uh, they've been kind of worried about prices in this like economy. And um, some of the competitive pressures on Macy's from JCPenney's and Kohl's are that like, um, they're around the same price, but Macy's is like more reputable and um, they're one of the oldest department stores. So they're very reliable and uh, they have a customer loyalty. And um, they uh, are trying to squeeze gains from existing stores and will wane as competition intensifies. So um, they don't have, they do have a lot of stores, but um, growth isn't going as well as they would like, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so they have uh, the service of uh, My Macy's, and basically uh, you can look online to see a product and see if it's in the store and either order online or go to the store and have bought it already. And they offer uh, many local sizes, colors, and fashion assortments based on regional differences. And uh, Macy's can still improve operations by focusing on the best stores and merchandising. Local managers and national buyers coordinate the best combination of fashion and promotions. Macy's private label business offers exclusive brands only found in Macy's, such as Alfani. So in conclusion, um, we feel bullish about Macy's. Um, we wouldn't recommend buying it at its current price right now, but they're pretty stable. Uh, we say $31 is the best price to buy, and then um, right now they're at $67. Um, Macy's has many strengths. Uh, leader in, in industry, uh, same store sales growth is very consistent and it's a, it's a very stable uh, company. And they're in a high competitive industry, but they still manage to make it in the top. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, so really great presentation, first of all. Um, I like put it, you putting in the key metrics, finding all the numbers that I, I wanted to see. Um, one thing I would add is that uh, you, wanna, you wanna show like the growth of, of revenue, right? So you had revenue for one year, but what's good is, and this, this goes for all you guys, what's good is to see growth in the past, let's say five years, right? Let's say, let's say you don't wanna go back that far, it's easy, go, go to Morningstar, look at how much it, it has grown from the period, and you'll see um, from, from like uh, 2014, it grew, it grew from 2013 at 1.76%, right, something like that. Um, look also from 2013 to 14, 2012 to 30, and then get the average, right? Get the average rate of growth. That would be a, a good way to, to go about revenue. Um, so recreate a presentation again. I like I like how people are starting to use Prezi, and you know it's it's really nice. Um, the bull and bear case. So first thing about the presentation is that you need to identify that it's the bull case already. I know it clearly says over there, but um, you don't you don't state it. So um, one thing you could you could do like is when you start with a bull case, you know okay, I'm going to negate first the bear case, right? You're gonna look at the bear case and you're gonna be like okay, this is why these bear cases won't affect my decision to buy. Right, because like you've negated them. You've been like, okay, if it's uh, if like people are starting to grow weary of the prices, they've already had a plan to change that, right? Something like that, something to, to alleviate from that. But um, overall, great presentation. Uh, so one one question, I guess. Let's see this. One question, if you were to guess, right? If you were to just guess off the top of your head, how much would you make off of Macy's in like ten years? And you can think about a percentage, and then one reason why. So just give me a percentage of like, okay, I think I'm gonna make 200% off this, I think I'm gonna make 90%, even like 10% off, off of it in, in five years. Um, and then just give me like one reason, that's it, okay? Um, it's possible, I believe maybe like 10%. Mm -hmm, 10%. They're slowly, slowly growing, mm -hmm. but it's still very stable. You still know? very stable. Yeah, every single year it's always stable, but growing just a little bit. Okay, so just a little bit, and you think it could grow 10%. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have an idea to justify that, right? So the revenue growth was around 2%, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you were to count it as a company, it, it would probably be growing at a 2% revenue, and then you have everything else growing at 2%. If everything's consistently growing, then that justifies the 2% a year so that you would get to the 10% in five years. So congratulations. Very nice presentation.